feel like these are too big. You guys can't take me serious right now. We'll wear these throughout the video, though. Um, got a piece of hair. Okay. Hey, bus stop. We about to get lit. And turn on. Yeah, lit. Hey, and turn on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Nicole. And today I'm back at it again with another video. Uh, let me take these off real quick so we can do the intro. Today I am here with a try on clothing haul. So I've been shopping over the past couple of months and I haven't been telling you guys where I've got everything from but that's because I'm getting like little pieces here and there, here and there and I felt as though I wanted to like get enough clothes to make a clothing haul video. So what's pretty funny is everything I'm wearing right now is part of this clothing haul. Everything I got is new. We trying to change the style and me being a social media influencer is kind of hard you guys because after I wear something like on Instagram and like it gets a lot of likes I can't like wear that same thing again um, especially if it's like a statement piece I try to get away with it for a couple pieces of my clothing because it's just like I have to wear that again but um, yeah okay so if you want to know where I got my clothes and see the clothes see me try them on see me pair them with a couple things then please keep on watching okay? I'm so over it I'm happy you did you did me wrong but I stay strong I'm about to glow up on you what goes around comes back around Foremost, I am filming this before I try them on. I have tried on everything that I have though, so I pretty much know how everything is gonna fit. Ooh, I feel like I need to move back a little bit. Y'all need to. I wish I could see the, my off white belt in this because it would just be amazing. But anyway, um, yeah, so I shopped at a couple different places and I'm gonna try to do it like brand by brand by brand etc etc but let's just get started so as you guys may know um last week I was in New York for a funeral um rest in peace to my uncle Velma um he was a very amazing man and he is very important in our family still to this day even though he's gone now but he's still here with us in our hearts but we were there for um about well I was there for about a week and um after the funeral and everything I went um to Jamaica Ave with my cousin and my aunt and I got my nameplate at one of the stores there and then I went a little shopping, you know, to kind of zhuzh up my mood since it was just such a kind of sad and emotional weekend. So, um, I went to this store on Jamaica Ave and I'm so sorry if you can't buy this online, but here's the thing. The thing that I like about all the pieces that I have, I've seen them in other boutiques and I've seen them in other places online. So if I've seen them online, I'll let you know. I'll try to find them and link them down in the description box. But um, I know this store doesn't have an online store. Unfortunately, Jamaica Ave is just, you know, whatever they got there, whatever they got. Okay, so I got these and I've been so into the camo lately, you guys. But here's the thing that I already could say that I've been hating about the camo pants or the two pieces that I've been seeing. It's this linen material. Now the thing I hate about this linen material is that I don't know if you could tell off camera, but it's the color isn't as rich because it's like ashy. It has like white. I don't know how to explain it. If you see le like these in person, you'll know what I'm saying. But um, yeah, the, the material is linen, I think. And then like it just gives off this white vibe like when you wash them and they fade yes okay that's the word they give off this faded vibe and I hate that like it makes me not want to ever wash these pants because it's just gonna get more faded and faded trust me I have the orange camo and I don't even want to wear those pants because of how faded they look but anyway um these are a red camo pant and I really like these a lot now the store didn't have a fitting room so I had to like try on everything over my clothes and um, I got these in a size large because the medium was just too short um they are cropped at the bottom um, and I'm five foot nine, five foot eight, and I wanted it to be as long as it can and feel as comfortable as it can because this doesn't really have too, too much stretch. And it came with a belt that I really appreciated as well, and I really like that. And I got these for $24.99, which isn't bad because I've went to a boutique here in Orlando, and I've saw like pants like these for like $35 to almost $40. So I like these a lot. The next thing I guess I'll show you guys from um, Pretty Girl are these camo pants right here as well. Like I said, I've been so into the camo, you guys. I have just been loving it. Stay off the shoulders. Okay, so I got this um, in a size medium, I believe. Yes, these are more of a baggy fit. Let me zip this up because it's going to be a mess. So yes, these are more of a baggy fit um, type of camo pant. Again, it's that linen material, but I feel like these are more rich in color. So I like these because they had the chain on them and I give it, it gives it like an edgy vibe kind of look to me and I feel like I could, you know, clip these on other pants. 
Um, also, I just like um, the color scheme. Like, I like the color scheme a lot. And I like the pattern that the camo is going in. It's like smaller rather than that big camo. Like squiggly lines. I like that. So yeah, I got these in a medium. And they are cuffed at the bottom. So they do look a little bit more baggier. But I like these a lot. The next thing that I got and that you can never go wrong with is one of these just plain bandeau tops. I think, I believe that I got those. Oh, those pants I forgot. I think they're about the same price as the red ones. But I also got this black bandeau top because you can never go wrong with this one. And it's not too short. So it's longer and I really like that. This one. Oh, shoot. I did not get this from Pretty Girl, just kidding. Wait, okay. So this next top that I got here um, from Pretty Girl as well, I wish I would've got this in a small because this is very stretchy, okay? You have a lot of room with this. Um, but I really have been like loving, 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 loving the off the shoulder vibes from for the summer. And I love yellows on me. Like who saw that picture on Instagram where I had that the two piece that I made, well, I had a two piece on and it was mustard yellow and my booty was poking. Who saw that picture? I'll put it right here if you, if you can see it. Okay, so these colors look amazing on melanin skin tones and I just love it so much. And it's just like a cute little top. They had it in green and red, but I really like the yellow. But they didn't have any more smalls. But this was on sale for $10. Sing the song! Oh. Oh god, I forgot. Okay, ready? Maria, Maria. Hey, hey, what? You remind me of a West Side Story. <laughs> You're annoying. <laughs> I have a lot of camo. I, I have a lot of camo. Okay, so the next thing, camo, of course. Um, they had these in the longer versions that were like a tight skinny jean kind of look. But I wanted to try out the cargo pants. They had these in like purple as well, but the purple looked too faded to me. Um, these are the regular, you know, traditional camo with the mustard yellow. Again, I like the mustard yellow um, kind of vibes and I like that they come with a belt. That is very convenient and amazing. Um, I think these ones were like $18.99, I'm not sure. I got these in a size medium and I'm really happy with the way they fit. You'll see, sis, you'll see. So I think this is the last thing that I got. Oh no, this is not the last thing that I got from Pretty Girl, but this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite pieces that I got from Pretty Girl. Okay, now here's the thing though. I wore it the other day for pictures and it already tore under here. So I'm gonna have to get my grandmother to sew that. Mm, that's an easy fix, but I'm really upset about that, but it's okay. I look like a Haitian flag. You are a Haitian flag. You guys, I got this for 10, I got this for $10. And they had it in olive green and they had it in black. But I was just like, I want it in blue because the royal blue is just gonna pop. I could wear it with jeans. I could dress. I could um, wear it with the denim skirt. The skirt I'm wearing right now, actually. And I just really love it. It's a bodysuit. Love this so much. It's mesh. So you could wear nipple pasties under it or a strapless bra or that bandeau kind of thing to um, cover your nip nips. But yeah, really like this a lot. And then the last thing that I got from Pretty Girl, you guys will see it on a little better, but it's this denim skirt right here that zips up in the back. I think this one was like $20. But I would pay, I love this. I love this a lot. But anyway, yeah, I really, really like this belt. It enhances my shape so well. And the denim is comfortable. It's not stiff. Love that so, so much. All right, so moving on to the next store. Y'all know this is, y'all know I like this store, okay? Um, the next store that I have to choose from, um, or for you guys to choose from, is Forever 21. My store, love it so much. This piece right here, I really liked it because Polaroid pictures, I like pictures. I just like the way the, the top was constructed, honestly. And I do this thing where if I need a finesse, I could turn this inside out and still rock it. And then um, it says Polaroid on the sides as well. I think this top was like $15. It's in a size small, but pretty simple. I think you, I wore this already on the ground, so nothing new. All right, so this next piece right here, this is a cute little t-shirt that I got from Forever 21 as well. It's an MTV shirt. Who doesn't like MTV, right? This one's a size small. It's like that regular t-shirt ribbed material. Um, I wanted to wear this and pair this with my, well, I did at VidCon, my half pink, half purple hair. This just looks so pretty with it because the colors and the contrast against the black. They have this in white as well, but I really like the black one, so I got it. Next piece, a piece that I genuinely really, really love, and it honestly would go with my outfit today. 
Well, I mean, it wouldn't go with my outfit, but the colors go with my outfit today, though. Okay, so this is like a windbreaker crop jacket, and it has these colors on it, really pretty. And then it says pony on the sides, pony, pony, pony. So I think pony is like one of their collections at Forever 21, and it zips up, no hood, just a collar. And this was $32.90. Now, I don't know if it's worth $32.90 considering the fact that it's cropped and there's like half half the clothes isn't there, so what am I paying for? But it is a windbreaker, it is good material, and it it's pony, whatever that is. I feel like I need my hat again. I don't know why I'm so like confused on what I want to convey throughout this video, so sorry. So y'all, I have been having this thing where I've just been feeling like Yeezy and I've just been feeling like nudie, like, you know what I'm saying? like. I just realized I have a whole shoe haul that I haven't uploaded yet. Abigail, get it together. Okay, so I've been in the nude kind of mood. The nude kind of mood. The nude kind of mood. Hey, hey! Yes, girl. Okay, so I got this Forever 21 as well. Like I said, this is a medium bodysuit. Simple, nothing serious, something nice something nude this one doesn't button at the bottom which is kind of annoying because you're gonna have to slit your panty to the side make it feel all right yeah so simply pair that with some jeans dress it up a little bit okay next thing i got is a maxi dress in a nude color because it was cheap it was like ten dollars and i want y'all to see my booty move Booty me, mm. booty me. Who remember that song? Comment down below. This one is in a size small, and the reason why I really do appreciate this dress is because it's long enough. Oh my gosh! Thank you for Revel Twenty One. Listen, your girl is five foot eight, five foot nine. Don't nobody got time for sundresses to be above my shin. Like the point. Like get it together. Forever Twenty One did it, and I appreciate that. Mm. Yes. So, uh, I have two more nude pieces from Forever 21, and this one right here is a nude skirt, a mini skirt. Just wanted to get it. It was cheap, y'all. It was like $6. Why not? And I've been really feeling the nudes. Like, I want to get a nude biker short two-piece, like the Yeezy season, Yeezy season, Claremont Twins. No shade to one of them that was being, that got arrested or whatever, but yeah. Okay, so I... I wanted to get one of these, um, well I got one of these button down dresses because I think these are so trendy and so cute and the rib material just hugs your curves and just makes you look more curvy. Really like that and then it has a slit at the bottom. I don't know if I really like that. I wish it just was straight across but I mean what can you say. It is pretty long though. It's like up to the shin. Simple. Simple dress. Nothing crazy. Okay. So I also got this as well. Woo! This is so bomb. Come on, Dragon Ball Z though? What y'all know about this? Listen, we got all my favorite characters on here. We got Goku. I don't see Vegeta. We got Goku. We got Piccolo. We, listen. And then the sleeves. I got this because I was planning my outfits for VidCon and my orange, my fire wig, my fire wig. This went perfect with it because of the contrast of the orange and the red and the purple. It's there. Love that. They have like a whole Dragon Ball Z line. The last um, thing that I got from Forever 21. And this is a size small. And it's just a tie-dye dress. I really like it because the blues and the grays. I just like that vibe. And then like, you know, to wear around the house. I took pictures in it. I love the blue vibes. It just was pretty, so I got it. All right, so this is the last thing for Forever 21. And this one was $32.90, so the same price as the Windbreaker. But this one is definitely heavier quality. Um, I don't know, this is like a stretchy leather. Like, I don't know. Real leather isn't stretchy like that, so you know, it's full leather. But I really, really like this because I feel like this jacket is such a statement piece. They only had a large. I would have gotten a medium if I had the chance. But I just really wanted it. I didn't care what size it was. Um, I really like it. It has the um, belt as well that you can take off and add on if you want to and I'm just really excited to wear this but it's summer like who wants to wear a thick ass leather jacket for summer but I feel like this is be so dope in the fall as well the color is just amazing okay that was the last thing from forever 21 okay so and oh also I get leggings from there all the time that's not new I'm not gonna show you leggings I get like five pair of black leggings when I go there 
you can't go wrong with black leggings come on moving on to the next store that we have here rainbow now i was on b marie's live the other day and my bit b marie always slaying shout out to you sis i love you baby love you um and she was wearing this outfit and someone was like oh you probably got it from rainbows and i was like but she said it as an insult and i'm like why is that an insult? Because I definitely go to Rainbow here and there. Like I got a black shiny heel from there and a nude shiny heel from there. And I got a couple of bomb pieces of clothes. Kind of essentials, you'll see. So basically all that to say is I shop at Rainbow and I'm proud. Don't come for Rainbow. Okay? You come for Rainbow, you're coming for me. And when you come for me, you get you the f out. Okay? Moving on. So these tops right here, so bomb, literally. Um, I got these all in a small and these I wish they were a little bit smaller though, but I know when I wash them They're gonna shrink these tops were like Seven dollars a piece I think and I just love this this kind of rainbow situation that they have going on And I just like the colors that they had so they had orange they had um, white They had black they also had gray, but I didn't get the gray they have black and Then they had royal blue so I got all four of them I don't care. I'm gonna wear these. I love the royal blue, I love the orange. And then also I figured that if I wanna wear it solid color, I could wear it inside out and then just fold the bottom in like this. Finesse. My song, finesse, yes. Okay, and then I got this black bodysuit that you heard me talk about earlier from Rainbow as well. So, not bodysuit, really happy girl. This bandeau, so I got Five bandos from Rainbow. I also got these bomb ass shades. Oh my god, I'll just insert a picture of me in the shades. Love them. And then I, I have an I have an obsession with shades. Because shades will really change a whole look. And then I got this long maxi skirt. Yes, baby. Yes, girl. This one was $10.97. And I think stripes. And again, that mustard yellow contrast with the stripes. So pretty. Black and it's kind of like an off-white ivory kind of situation with the yellow. Love it. Love, love, love. So that's the situation right here. That's a whole vibe. Is it, is it, is it, is it vibe? Shout out to Shark and Ty. Bye, bye. So, from H&M, yes, I know H&M is canceled, you guys, but I was looking everywhere for like solid color shirts that I could just wear as a t-shirt dress or that I could just zhuzh up and make it more than what it was. And H&M was that place. I know they're canceled. For us black people, but I mean, they have some good stuff and I needed it, so I... That was the first time I walked in there in months because I remember when that first incident happened with H&M, I was about to walk in there because I completely forgot and some random guy, he was black, he was like, don't you do it, and I was like, okay, <sighs> but uh, I go in there, okay. So I got these t-shirts, um, they're simple t-shirts, you guys. I got this one in a large. Some of them are folded up at the side. I got a black one, I got a... Um, nude one i got a white one and k got a pink one and a gray one so like we just got different shirts oh and an orange one that i paired with um this or these shorts that i got from a boutique that's in orlando here purple glass boutique and i believe fashion nova has these as well um so you could definitely check out fashion nova but they're that nice shiny biker short and they're like quarter length like up to right above my knee and I really like that and I also got those these in black as well from um purple glass boutique love these all right so the next thing that I got here is this two-piece it comes with um biker shorts as well really love this yellow and the gray contrast I like the the small camo without the like big big squiggly lines I really like this um where did I get this from so I got them in a store in Anaheim, actually, um, me, Kay, and Dante went shopping at the mall um, because I needed a couple pieces. And I got this at the store, I think, I don't know what the store is called, let me see. It doesn't say the name of the store. No. But they're simple, it's a simple piece. It's um, biker shorts, again, with the two straps on the side, and then I got the black ones with the White stripes on the side that I wore with the Polaroid um, tank top already. But these had a hole in it and me and Kay tried to fix it. And I told her to put a little bit of super glue. And she put so much on there. Now it's like so stiff. So I gotta find a way to like cut the fabric and like sew it in. Or sew it. It's just, ugh, 
I'm so annoyed by that. But anyway, yeah, still has a tag on it, but yeah. And I think that is it for the haul, you guys. We made it through. Anyway, love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Comment down below what pieces you think look the best on me. Honestly, I'm kind of scared because my hair is red. And I'm about to wear these crazy ass colors with red hair. And usually I plan my outfits to go with my hair because I'm not gonna wear crazy colors with red hair. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to look crazy. Um, in all honesty, if I feel like I look crazy in these clips, I'll keep this clip, this setup, but I'll probably wait till I change my hair to black to um, wear these outfits with you guys. But yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure you check out my other videos. Again, comment down below your favorite outfit. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you would like me to do like a series of just like buying from one brand, like a I spent kind of video, like Jordan Lipscomb or Patricia Bright. They do those videos. I love watching their videos so much. Let me know down below if you guys think I should do that. Give me some stores to look at and um, we'll probably get a different type of series started on my channel. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you. And I'll see you on the next one. Okay. Okay. Pretend it's not. So, yeah, basically, um, they sent me this wig. Um, but I thought it was going to be a frontal wig, you guys. But it ended up being a closure wig.